Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. In my last A1 upgrades video, I showed how I printed the vertical stand for my AMS Lite vertical setup so I can save some space. I love this setup so far and it works great, but there's one thing I'm gonna try which is the top mount upgrade combined with the AMS Lite enclosure. So let's get right into it. Let's first start off with printing all the parts for the enclosure. I'm gonna print this enclosure here remixed by AF360. The buckets have windows so you can see which filaments are inside them. I'm gonna use this white matte PLA filament to print the enclosure. Now one quick tip if you're doing multicolor prints, you always want to tell the printer to print the lightest color first. Else, if your dark filaments have stringing issues, those strings will end up on your plate and you'll get something like this. In this case, for the lids, let's tell the printer to print the white filament first. To do that, you want to click this gear symbol next to the plate in the slicer. Then here, you want to change these two settings from Auto to Customize. Set the order of the filaments sequence from the lightest color to the darkest. In my case, I'll have the white filament to be printed first, then the dark gray second. It's gonna take 26 hours to print all of these, so let's do a time lapse. Aside these parts for the enclosure, I also printed these rings here and I'm gonna show what they're for but before that, let's talk about our sponsor for today's video, PCBWay. If you have a 3D printer that can't print specific materials or has a small print volume, or if you don't have a 3D printer at all, you can get PCBWay to print it for you. PCBWay offers 3D printing services and you can get them to print in any material like resin, nylon, CPU, PC, ASA, or even metal like titanium. Just upload your model to PCBWay, specify the quantity, choose your materials, and so on, and hit submit request to get your quote. PCBWay doesn't just do 3D printing, they also offer other services like all kinds of PCB services, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and so much more. So make sure to check them out and visit PCBWay.com to learn more. Now let's assemble everything together. For the panels, I chose the panels for one hygrometer on each side, so I'll need two of these. For the windows, I'm gonna use this nano tape which I already have, but you can use plastic sheets and super glue them to the buckets to ensure that no dust and moisture can get in there. You also want to get desiccants like these silica gel beads, or if you like to hoard these silica packs like me, you can use them as well. You can find the instruction on how to assemble them together on the designers page, and it's very straightforward. You can go through the steps there or just follow along. Thank you. 
Remember those rings I showed you earlier? Insert them in the spool holders like this. These rings act as spacers so your spools won't grind against the wall of the enclosure. That looks so good and I'm pretty happy with the color choice. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think of it. Now let's put the EMS light aside and get on with printing the parts for the top mount. I also found this print for the mount which worked with the enclosure. Now this replaces the official mount from Bamboo Lab completely so I would just need to print the second plate plus the tube guides. I also got this light grey filament which I think matches the color scheme of the A1 perfectly. One more tip, when you refill Bamboo Lab filaments on the spool, after removing the plastic strips, make sure to spread out the filaments and press it down hard to make sure that there's no gap between the filaments and the spool. This will prevent the filaments from tangling. The sprint will take another 13 hours, so let's do this. Now you need this screws kit to put everything together. If you got the A1 combo, you can find it in your accessory box, but you can also buy this kit separately from Bamboo Lab. There's an official video from Bamboo Lab on how to put everything together, so let's do that. This mount doesn't need any screws, so you just slide it in the top gantry and install the clip like this. Now the last step is to install the AMS light on the top mount. Just a side note, the enclosure and the mount weigh around 1kg, so you'll be adding that extra weight to the whole setup. Then screw the AMS light to the mount using the same screws you use for the stand. Then install the tube guides and the tubes. Now let's load our filaments. Now that we loaded the filaments, let's print this cool print in place toolbox for A1 accessories. So the print went smoothly and everything is still intact. The humidity in the enclosure went down from 40% to 17% in just 3 days which is great. 
I can see that this might be the solution to keep your filaments dry or keep them away from dust while saving a lot of space on your working area. The downside is you can't place the printer that close to the wall since you can't access the filaments on the back side of the enclosure that easily. That's why I had to position my printer like so. But if you have enough room at the back of the printer, then this setup might work for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.